So there's lots of different kinds of applications where you might put a bike on your boat. Um, you might put a bike on your boat just to get across this little river because you don't want to get your feet wet or your nice boots wet or whatever. Okay, so that's where I would consider um, disaster style, they call it, where you just literally throw your bike on your boat, don't take your wheels off. Um, maybe you don't even put your whole paddle together and you just use it like one half and you just got to get across this thing and it's going to take two seconds. So you're going to spend about two seconds putting your bike on your boat. That's disaster style. Um, if you have repeated river crossings where you're just doing this over and over again, you're just going to throw your bike on your boat haphazardly. You might just launch onto your boat and just paddle across really quick. You won't even use your paddle at all. Um, so that's disaster style. You can lose your bike off your boat and that's no good. So <laughs> that's one of the pitfalls of disaster style. Um, then you've got, uh, if you're running a rack, a lot of times it's hard to get that rear wheel off. So I'll leave the rear wheel on, but that throws a little more weight out here and gives you a little less paddle stroke area because that tire is right there. Um, you're gonna wanna position the wheel and the tire and the bike a little farther forward to give yourself room if you're doing that. And also um, that keeps more weight on this side of the boat. So you're gonna wanna have that front wheel over here and maybe some of your gear over here to balance the boat, balance the bike. Um, and, uh, and then you have this style where both wheels are off, everything's placed um, in the middle, you have really good balance. And this is not a zipper boat, so uh, no cargo fly on this boat. So I'm just sitting on my gear. You can also stack your gear up here in front, but it kind of gets visually kind of in your way. Um, and also it becomes more top heavy. Um, and then if you do have a cargo fly boat, it's pretty basic. You just put everything inside, just like you would if you're going on an overnighter with that same boat. And you put your bike on the front, call it good, you're done. 